As we continue to spotlight the ongoing construction and building of houses of worship within the Church of Christ, one of its latest edifices has made its way to New York. With already numerous houses of worship, it would be in Woodbury that a new house of worship would be dedicated to the Lord God. Michael Robinson has the story. Every house of worship of the Church of Christ has a unique narrative. From its inception, construction, and renovation to the eagerly anticipated day of dedication to the Lord God. And in the bustling state of New York, a distinctive story unfolds. Within the heart of the Empire State, you'll find numerous houses of worship standing tall. And among the newest would be this house of worship, located in Woodbury, New York. And it has a story that echoes through the lives of members like Roger Hughes, where at a time without a place of worship yet established in Woodbury, Roger and members alike would be part of the congregation of Rockland. We started uh, because um, we're a daughter of the local of Rockland, and Rockland was spreading all over this region of New York, uh, actually covered four different counties. And it started to become, especially during winter time, uh, because we're surrounded by mountains, very difficult for the brethren to travel. An answer to their needs would be found temporarily at the home of one of Woodbury's pioneering members, Brother Raymond Frank. So we were approved to be an extension. We worshipped in the basement of my house. Because of the growing needs of the, uh, of the locale, of the brethren uh, there uh, in that area, we needed to find a more suitable place for us to worship that had the space that we needed. They found this chapel and pastoral house for sale. This property, formerly owned by the St. David Episcopal Church, over 100 years old, became the answer for the congregation of Woodbury. The plan, complete renovation and becoming a suitable place of worship. And once we got word that uh, the house of worship would be renovated, uh, the brethren were very excited. The drawings that we have and the renovation that will take place, thanks be to God that our chapel will stand out in the community. With plans ready for renovation, time would come that the faith of members in Woodbury would be tested and making this property a suitable house of worship. Water is flooding into New York City. But the main threat from Sandy is storm surge, not just flooding. Surge effect hits like a liquid fist powered by 80 mile an hour winds. This house was also uh, affected by Hurricane Sandy uh, to where it flooded here in the basement. So there was a lot of black mold, there was a lot of mildew. Uh, it had to be pulled out, it had to be cleaned. It was very difficult, but it was the brethren that uh, came together to do it. We know that God will not give us more than we can't handle. So we strive to overcome the problems that we face by being more dedicated and more prayerful. Despite challenges, renovations continued. As skilled workers handled the primary renovations, members also helped in the process, ensuring that this house of worship would reach its day for dedication. Uh, mostly, most of it was beautification, but there was some heavy, there was some heavy work that we had to do as well. Uh, you started off seeing uh, like the pews that we have here it was done by brethren, and then we made it look like a chapel. From the inside and out, from the hands of the members in Woodbury and the help of God, a once dilapidated building now standing as a suitable and beautiful house of worship. The last phase was now for it to be dedicated to the Lord God. The dedication was conducted through a special worship service led by Brother Sheridan Santos, supervising minister of the Ecclesiastical District of New York. And even more momentous, celebrating their 10th anniversary made pioneering members of Woodbury even more joyful for this great blessing. It's all, all uh, joy and happiness for, uh, for everything that we look back uh, that God has done for us. And of course, He has given us this uh, house of prayer that we'd be able to talk to Him, uh, glorify Him, and worship Him. And all of the brethren were saying, we're home. 
we're home. They were so happy po. And I felt that deep in my heart po. Uh, it was uh, so much joy. Even health problems didn't stop pioneering members like Beatrice from being part of this special moment in Woodbury. Ang pinakaasan namin nung na-hospital ang asawa ko, sabi ko sana makagalaw kami ng ano, yung pag-aandog sa iglesia. Natupad naman. Kaya itong isang pinagpapasalaman namin, patunay na ang Diyos ay nakikinig sa mga panalangin. Kasi ever since we've been member of the church, God is the center of our life. We are grateful to our executive minister for helping us to be able to be guided this way and for the brethren to be guided in their thought that the house of worship is important to us, it is important to God, and it is that thought that we intend to bring with us in the year 2024, most especially for the 110th anniversary of the church, which also is the 45th anniversary of the District of New York. And with more renovations planned for other houses of worship, like in Johnsonville, Connecticut, and for a newly renovated district office in the House of Worship in Bronx, New York, a new chapter has already begun for Woodbury in the new year. Everyone's just reinvigorated. We're looking forward to the year to come. We will always take care of this house of prayer, and that we'll always have a place for the brethren to gather together, and we'll always have a place to worship and honor Almighty Father. This inspiring house of worship in Woodbury now takes its place among the many beautiful houses of worship of the Church of Christ throughout the world, showing how vital the house of worship is to the faith of its members, serving as beacons of hope in their communities, with many more stories to unfold. Share with us below in the comment section of how houses of worship continue to have a positive impact in your neighborhood, as all of them have their own story in building hope. Michael Robinson, Iglesia Ni Cristo News Network. Well, that does it for us on INC News World. Tune in every Sunday for new episodes on INC TV and every Saturday on incmedia.org, our YouTube channel, and on streaming platforms. I'm Brother Angelo Bruno. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. God bless. <laughs>